I have to sing very quietly into my microphone so they don't hear me. <laughs> So you've been entertaining Austin audiences with your incredible performances for years now. Did you find music or did music find its way to you? I think we kind of found each other. I think music is a calling and it's been calling me for the last 10 or 11 years. Yeah. I've tried other professions but it just keeps coming back, that burning desire to do music. Like I think I was born to perform and sing and entertain people. It's just. Since I was a young child, I, I just loved to be entertaining. Your first EP, Naked, was really a chance to kind of pull back those layers, <laughs> literally and figuratively, and show people who you were, what your music was about. So one of your first big singles that I really loved on Naked was the song Hot and Bothered. <laughs> what is the story behind that song? I was working on music one day and I found this cool loop and it was really funky and soulful. I wrote this song, what I would say to a guy, like just this clever ways to say. Like a guy that you're friends with or a guy you have a little crush on yeah. or who's the guy? <laughs> Definitely a guy you, you want to like, you know, holler at. You know, I, I had a crush on uh, this, a local musician here. Who might remain nameless during yeah. this interview. <laughs> Like, it's, a it's AJ Vallejo. Mm -hmm. So I had a crush on him. I kind of wrote the song about him and th things I would say to him that were clever. To his mom or the woman that made you. <laughs> What's that line? Give my regard to the woman that made you. Give a high five to the heavens that sent you. Yes, that was pretty clever. Say, give my regard to the woman who made you. Give a high five to the heavens that sent you. I mean, if someone said that to me in a bar, I'd be like, hey, let's, like, here's my number, like, yes. let's, let's go to dinner, you know something? That's just clever and smooth. I'm trying to be clever and, clever and smooth with, with my stuff. What's on the horizon in terms of new music? I've been inspired by a lot of the female empowerment movements and, and also the, the black empowerment movement. For some reason, I've been calling people empresses. So I was like, ah, empress. I'm going to name my new project Empress and build it around female empowerment. Mm -hmm. Coming into your own as a woman, it kind of inspired this, this new album. I love the sound of it. You mentioned coming into your own. Would you say that you feel like you're coming into your own yourself right now? Yes, absolutely. I went to New York recently and that kind of showed me I've been sleepwalking a lot through my career. So being in New York just kind of fueled my desire to take more control of my career. Just having my first New York show at the Apollo Theater, just to be there and have all that history and, and see all the cool pictures of Aretha Franklin and amazing performers on the wall and to know that I, I performed there, it was magical. It was cool to get outside of Austin. I stay close to home because my kids, I'm a single mother, and I didn't want to be absent for them. You're not just a mom. You are a mom of teenage twins. I'm tired just thinking about that. <laughs> How do you do that? I'm glad I have them, mm -hmm. you know? Like, because they are so, they, they keep me connected to, to the, uh, to the youth. Yeah. What's it like creating music? You know, how do you be a musician and a mom? It's hard to create create with them in the house. I, I'm just super paranoid that they're gonna judge me singing, you know, look at my scratch paper and like, ew, ew, mom, that sounds terrible. <laughs> Whenever they're there, I have to sing very quietly into my microphone so they don't hear me. Like, <laughs> But I definitely run things by them. Whenever I, I notice that they're not moving, mm -hmm. I know that I messed up. That especially my son, because he has this instinct, like stuff has to be fluid and grooving. Mm -hmm. And if he stops moving, I, then I know that I've either put too many words in or I had too many harmonies. Yeah, they're like my barometer. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. yeah, they're like your gauge. Yeah. So you know that there on, has been more than one occasion that I have come up to you before show after show and been like, what are you wearing? And how do I get it on my body? And I feel like I'm not the only person who has that question. Where does your style inspiration come from? I've always been out there 
you know, even as, as a child. I like to be over the top. Yeah, we love the Nina Bernardo yes. jewelry, working yes. on both yes. ears now. Yeah, well. I hope you brought more too because you planned on leaving one with us. I'll be, I'm just trying to decide which one I'd like tomorrow forever. I just try to be quirky so the people coming to my shows, I just want to show them that I really, really care. So you do think about the audience when you're getting dressed for a show? Absolutely. I was born to perform. That's what I, I've come to realize over, over all these many years. And I just love getting ready for shows and I love taking hours putting my makeup and, and wearing what kind of wig I'm gonna wear. I just love the avant-garde, you know, nature yes. of, of being a, an entertainer. I'm spending more time on my set and, and just different sounds and I'm really excited about 2018. I'm really excited about putting on shows. So get ready, world. Yes. Tamika's coming. Yes, let's we're, we're yes. excited.